Austin. As we move closer to the end of 2023, there's every indication that Austin's population continued to grow during the year. But it's hard to imagine that at one time, Austin officials believed that the city wasn't growing fast enough. On tonight's backstory, Bob Buckaloo looks at efforts from long ago to get more people to call Austin home. These days, it doesn't take much to encourage people to move to Austin, a city that consistently ranks among the best places to live in the U.S. But long ago, the Austin Chamber of Commerce had to encourage people to come here. So they produced a promotional film that, thanks to the Austin History Center, gives us a visual time capsule from 1943. The film follows a family who had recently moved to Austin when it was home to fewer than 100,000 people. We catch scenes of an Austin skyline from a time when the state capitol dominated the landscape. To promote the city, the film focused on some of the buildings and structures in Austin, most of them familiar to us today, like the Travis County Courthouse. The Moonlight Towers, only 15 of the original 31 remain. Texas Memorial Stadium, much smaller then. The main building at St. Edward's University when it was a school for men only. And the film shows us a few things we might not have known. 15th Street near downtown was once a winding tree-lined boulevard. And there's this attractive roadway. Would you believe that this was once a cow pasture? Under a program of civic improvement, it was changed into East Avenue, a pleasure to the eye and a major north-south thoroughfare. Where is East Avenue today? It's now called I-35. Of course, there was no indication that the Austin of 1943 had to deal with traffic congestion or that affordable housing would become out of reach for many. But just as it was then, Austin is still a city of trees, lakes, and public spaces open to all. The pool at Barton Springs, same as it ever was. The Treaty Oak. And Lake Austin, back then uncluttered by the homes that line its shores today. That steep climb at Mount Bunnell hasn't changed at all. And the view from there? This was Austin, Texas in 1943. As this friendly city glows in the light of the setting sun, you feel that it was always intended for Austin to be your permanent home. Bob Buckaloo, KVU News, 